Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's me, Irvin, and this is the last video that I'm recording today. Uh, it's been a hot day. It's been getting hotter and hotter in this room. So, um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I I, I feel like my computer is also overheating a little bit, so um, hopefully it doesn't affect the video too much. Uh, but this is going to be on a review on an anime that released last season in the spring uh, called Love After World Domination. Uh, now, this one is actually one that I really put my eyes on when it first aired, and I really liked the premises of the story. So I went back this season and watched it completely, and yes, it definitely did give what it promised, and I'm very much, I very much really like this series. Now, before anything, if you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love to it. Comment, like, and share. That always helps. Uh, but especially if you're watching up to this point, subscribe. Uh, we're trying to reach 5K by the end of the year. And I think that very much is possible. So um, you can also follow uh, my social media in the description below. Buy some cheap anime and manga there as well. And check out my other reviews on my channel. Okay. So we follow the story of Desumi and Fudo. And essentially, Desumi is. She's a princess. She's the leader of the evil organization that attacks people and civilians in the city. And Fuduo is part of uh, what seems to be like a ripoff of the Power Rangers called Gelato 5. Now, Gelato 5 has the same premises of the Power Rangers. They transform into these characters. Uh, you have the red, pink, uh, I think there's a green, blue, and yellow. Um, and they go and defend the city from these monsters. Uh, Desumi being one of those leaders, um, that's how Fudo and Desumi met. Now, they have a secret, and that is that they are in love. So while everyone else is fighting, they always kind of go in the side and have their own little date uh, and just hang out with each other. Um, now, this whole series is really comedy-based, and... That's really about it. <laughs> uh, Desumi is basically fighting with the fact that she's in love with the enemy. But also, there's different obstacles that she needs to cross. One is that at one point, they want her to become an animal, uh, morphed a uh, human, so that she can become stronger. Now, she ends up saying no to it, and they're like, oh, wow, she's so evil that she goes against evil itself. And that's dumb, but obviously... That's how they play play on that. Um, Desumi really doesn't want to become anything else because she's in love with Fudo. Now, Fudo, on the other hand, is battling with the fact that he is in love also with the enemy. But the enemy is also evil. So there's a lot of things that he does to hide that, that fact. Uh, but also doesn't understand how Desumi thinks that way. So uh, there's all that. Now, there's side characters and side stories, obviously, that uh, interact with the characters you have uh, kiki which is another princess who interacts as well as ran ran and um you have the cat Hiliko who hates uh fudo because it is taking destiny from him uh you have uh other princesses like uh M mizaki you have Desumi's sister who's uh U U U U Urami, and she's also as evil. Then you have the pink gelato, uh, Haru, who at first you think, she, well, we we know that she is. She has a crush on Fudo, but she's okay that Desumi and Fudo are together because she also highly respects Desumi. Now, later finds out that she, that she is part of the evil side, but still actually ends up helping them throughout the whole series to hide their love. Because Desumi at one point defended Haru when she was a little kid. And because of this, Haru has always wanted to be a hero. Now, didn't realize that she was being saved by the enemy, but she did. Uh, the story itself really is, I don't want to say slice of life, but you can watch any episode and of the series out of order and still be okay with it. Uh, the really end of the series, there's this big battle with a monster that they've been creating the entire series. We finally see him fight uh, the heroes, and the heroes are unable to actually kill it. So Fudo and Desumi are ha happen to join hands and fight against this monster, because the monster is really attacking everyone, both evil and good. So because of it, they they have to join hands and attack it and destroy the monster. 
And everyone's like, is there going to be a new alliance? And no, there isn't. They're still hiding their love from everyone else. And that's really how the season ends. It, it doesn't feel like a whole series as it should end, but it, it it's still good. It's still good. It, it's definitely for intermediate and higher. Like I said, it's sort of a slice of life. Not really. It's really romance and comedy. Uh, but it's one of those series that wherever you start, it's okay. You're not going to miss much if you start in episode seven or six. Uh, obviously, it makes sense to go in order. But there's just a little bit of everything for everyone. Uh, you have uh, different princesses that are have their own ambitions and always look up to our our main protagonist. But you have the um, Power Ranger type of characters who all have their own story. One who actually met Destiny when she was little and trained her, and he uh, is afraid of her because she's a beast. She can she can kill someone with her her fist. Uh, so yeah, yeah. There's comedy left and right. I really did like this one. I think it deserves uh, a, a high rating of um, of a seven point five. To be honest, uh, which I'm checking here, my anime list agrees with me. It has it at seven point fifty two. I think it has a premises that wasn't really touched before. It kind of has that comical parody to Power Rangers. If you grew up with them like me, then you like the connection to it. And uh, yeah, makes a good uh, chuckle at the end of the day. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Give some love to it. Uh, if you want to have more recommendations, there's a bunch, a bunch of recommendations on my channel. Go check them out. Give some love to my uh, channel by commenting, liking, and sharing. I'll see you guys next time. Like always, guys, don't be strangers. See you guys.